Hello friends, welcome to Technoi channel. Today we will discuss about template syntax as part of our VOE JavaScript framework series. So if you see here, I am using Visual Store Code Editor and this is a trimmed down version of Chrome browser. Okay, I have changed the background color and the font color but this is nothing but a Chrome browser and I am using a dark syntax of the inspector. So if I do any console.log, so it will be get printed over here. And here I have uh, added the view E as a dependency. This is my style sheet. And this app.js you can able to see in the left hand side. And this is the TN app, uh, which is referring over here. And what of the data we can access and print over in the this paragraph tag. So Whenever we uh, use the curly bracket, this is most uh, bar syntax. Yehuda card is really created that most bar and which is quite popular. So I already explained that we can have some, you know, um, data binding available, two way data binding by using v dot model is equal to name. Okay. So let's say if you want to change this uh, Peter to Steve, so the message or the name will be also changed. But if we don't want to change this name, once we have assigned some value, we would like to retain that value. That also we can do that. In this P, we can uh, create another directive V hyphen once. So these are known as directive. This is the attribute directive. So let me load it. So Peter Steve. So even though I mentioned the Steve over here, this is not changing, right? So that means only one way data mining is possible. So that data is not getting changed. Also, let me create some kind of messages. Uh, hello, you got an Okay, just let me create another paragraph to it. See, I got uh, this message. Nothing fancy over here. But if let's say I would like to pass, you know, in a HTML tag, for example, then let me reload it. See, it is not, uh, it is only displaying that H1 is by uh, feeling that it is a normal string and it is displaying. But what if I would like a specific behavior? I want it to be highlighted. I, I am fetching this H1 tag from the server. I want to display as a header. Or if I want to uh, do body bold, so I want it to be displayed as a bold. So for doing that, we can specify another uh, directive. We can say v hyphen HTML. So if you save it and reload the page, v dot html so i think we can mention instead of okay let us try over here okay now let us reload okay so now it is coming but we we can't specify over here and assign it so inside the paragraph so we can either use paragraph or we can use some wrapper, for example, division tag. Okay, division do not have any specific meaning by itself. So inside that the header will be created. So if you see over here, so this ID, the division tag, and this uh, hello, you got the error. So H1 is a child element of this uh, particular thing, okay? So, also we can bind using some, you know, uh, we can associate any variable to a class or to an ID. For example, let us create some bind to a class. So, class and this we can give uh, variable. Let's say I given the my variable. So, here we can define my variable 
and we can say let's say red okay so the class will will save it and we reload it so nothing will happen because i have not put any uh, style for it but if you see over here if you notice okay this is i'll figure it out how to get rid of this for a little bit later so this class is red is coming here you can see it right so here the red is coming so this class is uh, come from this variable okay to make it a little bit more meaningful let us define a class in the css file and dot rate okay and let us define color as rate now reload the space so this peter is coming as you know uh, red in color because we define the style set over here so that means we can uh, we can change this id class or any attribute for that matter whichever because the table has border properties and you may have width height or uh, in, in case of emails you can have source or href so you can bind to any property and you can change it using some dynamically value so which is really powerful and also uh, let us get rid of it and here this name you can use not only a simple string but you can also use uh, for example javascript to you know substring from two uh, we just uh, reload it so any any function you can use a substring reverse for example let me want to reverse this string so we can call reverse and let me reload it oh sorry i think this reverse is not a function uh, okay never mind so i'll do let's say i want to join something hello so let me reload it okay i'm sorry for that uh, i think concat yeah so we can concatenate so any kind of string uh, i'm not sure uh, usually the reverse join was available but uh, never mind so this is a little bit powerful curly bracket here we can execute any kind of javascript expressions for example, let's say we have some, you know, price. Price is twenty thousand, and here we we decided to you know do some operation on price uh, multiplied by zero point two to get twenty percent of it. So here we we got the four thousand out of twenty uh, percent of that price. Similarly, we can execute any operation, right? And here, for example, uh, is uh, true. Uh, we can just this is just uh, simply a boolean. So we can execute some tertiary is true question mark true uh, false. So this is a tertiary operator. So if it is a true, it will return true or false. So we can write anything over here let's say true one or false if it is making sense to you so basically we can say true one so if let's say i change this variable to false and i reload this space so it is wearing false so we can execute any kind of tertiary but remember that we we cannot declare any variable here we cannot do any conditional if else condition this is a simple javascript string which uh, needed for displaying some variable and do some minor change into the variable just for the display purpose just keep it slim and you know simple simple and also view is coming uh, with a concept on as uh, you know uh, filters so we can uh, define a filter using a pipe symbol so I'll create a simple, you know, filter, lowercase. Usually it is very easy to do it. So nothing fancy over here. So here we can define a function on as filters. So that is an, you know, object. Inside that object, we can create as many function we filters we like. So we can say lowercase, you know, function value. 
so whatever the this name will be passed over here and we can do return name dot to i think this is the correct spelling name okay let us try it so something is breaking variable name is equal to abc let me try in this console name dot to lowercase abc so should be fine to name dot lowercase lowercase Okay, silly mistake over here. Here I have used name. Usually, instead of name, we have to give value. So sorry for that. Some simple mistake I used to do. So let's say if let's say you want to do Steve. So here we can reload it, Steve. So any any you know anything you can do in this filter. So hello, Steve's. So hello, Steve. So whatever operation you can do using a filter you can do this is quite powerful so a uh, lot of logic you can implement so it is but recommended to make it uh, simple and just for presentational purpose don't uh, change the state don't do too much manipulation just try to you know uh, change that uh, simple behavior of it that for example let's say we currency currency this is instead of name will give price okay so here we can return like this uh, uh, dollar um, so we can say value 0 0.00 okay so this is a string representation of the file so dollar uh, 20,000.00 so this kind of filter are very flexible to format the data and also you can uh, create your own filter for string manipulation for the number manipulation as well as for the date time you can change so which will be really helpful in our case also this uh, one by one different filter you can create let's say for example this one filter i appended uh, currency symbol and another filter uh, simply this is for dummy filter I'll do nothing else uh, just to say echo I'm just giving an you know option how you can create echo function okay so value so by this already this is created the string is converted to $20,000 I would like to append return price so you may have some better use case so i just want to simplify it so what does it mean this is price is a variable currency is a one of the filter filter one and filter two so you can concatenate or you can chain different filter to get different result and this filter you can use in multiple places right if you want to append the dollar symbol or if you want to append the zero zero so you can create multiple filter and you can reuse as per your need so see the price is coming over here this is a very this may not be appropriate in kind of building a big, big application but you got the ideas you can write anything you can do greetings or you can change it as per your need this is just to show the power that it is possible